Hello everyone, Legend Begins here, and welcome to another quote-unquote game legend. And this creepy pasta is, in, uh, is titled MMB in the Beast. It was a sunny day, and a friend of mine decided to invite me to his house. Since I had nothing better to do, I decided to go. When I got there, he was playing Mega Man Battle Network 3 White on his Nintendo DS Lite. I can't beat this boss, says my friend with great frustration. Having already beaten the game, I decided to take my try at it. When he gave the DS to me, I noticed he was at the end of Secret Area 3. I didn't bother checking the chips because I wanted a challenge for this fight. I started the cutscene and then skipped to the fight. He had some strong chips, so I couldn't understand why he was having a hard time. I beat the boss easily and my friend was impressed. You made that boss look so easy, I guess I'm very bad at this game, so I give up, you can have it. After neglecting wanting to take the game, I was pretty much forced into it. When I went home later that afternoon, I decided to play it again. Since I had such a nostalgia rush from beating the boss, I could finally get 100% completion. I loaded the game from saving in the hotel from the second scenario in the storyline after beating the boss on my DS Lite. I paused to check how many bug frags I had, since 300 are needed to get 100% completion. As the pause screen loaded, I saw bug frag number of 300, exactly how many I needed to continue. I traveled back to secret area 3 to the bug frag trader, which is accessed through a small path. I traded in all 300 bug frags, and I hear a growl, but it went on a little longer than usual. Like it wanted more. But Lan and Mega Man said the same thing as usual, so I didn't think anything of it. I went to the location where I jacked in and jacked out, since you can only leave the secret area from the first area where you come in. I jack in again and go to the secret area where Mysterious Net Navi waits me near the portal. This was odd since there was never a person there before. I was concerned at what it would say. It said, Turn back. Someone awoke the beast. I wasn't very impressed since I have experience in hacking Mega Man Battle Network games. But I was concerned since the community that hacks these games has never put one on a legit cartridge before. Also, I was with my friend when he bought it brand new. I continued through and see another net navy at the door to the next area. It said, Go feed the beast. What was this beast these guys were talking about? The only enemy that even resembled a beast in this game was some smaller viruses and a boss. I continued through the next area. The background went from a bluish color to a state color. I don't even remember reading the tutorial on how to change colors during certain events. I continued and arrived at the door to the final area. I see the same looking net ivy. It said, The beast will eat you alive, blank. It said my name! The game said my name! I've never played this before today. I'm officially freaked out. My curiosity about this beast trumps my fears. I continue on to the next area. The background turns to a light black color now. Constant growling every three seconds can be heard now. I knew the only place to go was the bug frag trader. I made it to the trader and the growling stops and the cutscene starts. Mega Man looks to the left of the trader and says, Lan, I can sense a huge power coming from the distance. The growling started again and the screen began to shake uncontrollably. Face flew over the water, going towards Mega Man very slowly, like he was wounded. What are you doing here, Base? Mega Man says with curiosity. Base says, The beast is here. After Base finished that statement, a red bubble surrounded Base, just like the final battle of the game. I looked in horror as Base was being eaten alive. The deletion sound of losing a net battle occurred. The red bubble disappears and the water changes to a red color. Alpha in the water appears. Alpha, the final boss. Lan and I both look at the same time. How can this be possible? A text box appears without an image like before and reads F E E D M E. I had enough. I ripped out the game from my DS Lite, hoping the screen would freeze so I could turn off the DS. As I was about to turn off the DS Lite, another text box appears. W H Y R U N. I threw the DS across the room and the screen turned black. 
That scared the crap out of me. I grabbed the game. I took it to my friend's house wondering if anyone had touched the game besides the two of us. You and I are the only one. They are the only people that have played the game, he says with certainty. I hand him the game and explain what happened. He puts the game into his DS Lite and loaded the title screen. To my amazement, the save file wasn't corrupted. My friend loaded the save file, turned in the bug frags to the traitor, left the secret area and came back to the secret area. He rushed to the traitor and then a cutscene started. It was not the cutscene I saw 30 minutes ago. It was the cutscene where you battle base GS. He attempted the battle knowing I wouldn't play it for a long time and lost pretty easily. He laughed after he lost and I went insane. I did not know what I saw. And for the game to change that drastically is beyond me. What I do know is I gave my friend a link to the community about two years ago so it's completely possible that he could have pranked me. For now, I'll never know why this happened. <laughs> oh, this boss is so bad. Oh my word, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. To the creator of this boss, if you read this, I'm sorry, that was bad. <laughs> that was very bad. Um, 2.5 out of 10. That's a max score. I can give it. Okay, where should I start? Um, First of all, the guy, I'm bad at it, you can have the game. No. Um, he's basically, at the, he basically completed the game already. No. You turn back, you've awoken the beast. If they did something with that, yeah. And he, the whole time he thinks it's a hacked game. Why is that scary? Um, it's a cliche with the, uh, the game pulling it out and then everything happening. Um, the beast will eat you alive. You could have at least put your name in there, but that's cliche. Um, <laughs> base, that was stupid. The text was stu stupid and it's cliche. Um, safe file not being corrupted, abnormal happenings, that's cliche. Uh, normal things happening when someone else tries it. And, um, it says he goes insane. Um, and then it's like, well, he could have pranked me, but I'll never know what this happened. It, it, it's dumb. I don't like it. But, um... Yeah. A link to this uh, very bad pasta will unfortunately be in the description down below. And, uh, let me know what you would give this creepy pasta, quote-unquote. And, um, tell me what you think and how scared you are of the beast. Oh, yeah! I forgot. It said the community had never put a hack on an actual cartridge. That is complete bullcrap, considering I have a tab pulled up right on my, like, computer screen about how to put hacks into a cartridge, because, you know, here, I'll show you. GBA flash cart. Look. You can put a hack on a cartridge if you want to. It's not that difficult. You can put it on the actual cartridge if you want to. It just it's a little more difficult. So this dude it, it's bad, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. You, this doesn't deserve my pity, but anyway. Um So Thanks for watching. And remember, it's just a legend. Right? A game legend, I guess. Thank <laughs> you.